Aries. What up, though, family? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Aries, wherever that resonates at for you in your chart. Keep in mind, we all have a first house. We all have Aries energy as part of us in some way, shape, form, or fashion, even if we have no Aries placement. So take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Time and energy are fluid. These readings are timeless. So whenever you stumble across this reading, Aries, there will be something in here for you to bring you clarity and confirmation, to empower you, to help you align. Tapping into my Aries energy, I use this Illuminated Earth Oracle deck. That's what I thought. I use this Illuminated Earth Oracle deck, okay, to as I'm meditating and connecting with your energy. And, man, Aries, this feels like your guides coming through, your angels coming through and saying, good job, congratulations. I see my Aries have really been handling business. You've really been getting stuff done. The first, in the first little row, quite a few cards came out today, but in the first row, we got this accomplishment card and this uh, responsibility card. And so maybe in work, maybe in business, maybe just on your spiritual journey, Aries, it really feels like you're getting a lot done here. But I also see we got this transient card and this uh, cosmos card. So what I'm feeling like this is saying is that the transits right now, the planets, the retrogrades, we have Pluto retrograde, Mercury retrograde, we've got this eclipse season thing going on and we're right here on the edge of this Scorpio full moon eclipse, Western astrology or Virgo if you uh, go by Vedic astrology. And the energies are very intense and what this feels like it's doing for you. Aries, we got this reincarnation card with this relationship card that came out in reverse. I don't always read reversals unless I'm guided to um, and on the bottom of the deck here, we have this deluge card, right? And then as I'm shuffling the tarot over here, I stop shuffling spirits like, hey, peep this. And we have the tower on the bottom of the deck in this light seers tarot here. And so for some of my Aries, I feel like you're dealing with a relationship that is in some way karmic. There's a lesson here. There's something that we need to learn. I do feel like things are either breaking apart in this relationship or something is happening that is trying to be washed away. Now, this can resonate in, in a few different ways. I'm feeling like for some of you, we're holding on to something from the past and we need to let it go in order to heal this relationship. What I'm feeling more so intuitively though is that some type of relationship is trying to be washed away washed out of your space right you know this intuitively so don't try to make it fit if it doesn't right you know what you're going through you know what you feel intuitively and i feel like whatever this tower moment is here it's really trying to get you to move on in some way right in this card we have the little squirrel being basically ripped away from his little squirrel home. But we also have these butterflies here, which is a sign of transformation, of metamorphosis. And so this does feel like these full moon eclipse energies are bringing through this very strong transformation, this change. And we're working through some type of karmic relationship, whether this is with a parent or a family member or a lover or a friend, a sibling, you know, however it resonates i feel like it's definitely feeling karmic right it's almost like you reincarnated to get this right or to handle this situation in some way shape or form and this is sort of what's being highlighted here and this could just be in all of your relationships aries where there's something here maybe it's a relationship dynamic maybe you're giving too much and you're not receiving or you know maybe you're settling whatever it may be this is what's sort of being highlighted here i do feel like overall my aries like i said you're really handling your business and you're getting things done and your guides are really like yes 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 i'm seeing that standing ovation for my aries from their angels and this really feels like uh it's almost like they're they're like come on you got this type energy all right so we're gonna jump into this tarot after we say a quick prayer 
see what we have here for my Aries. We're going to check out the past, present, and future. Divine Mother, Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High. Messages for my Aries family for their highest good. Anything they need to hear right now. Anything they need to know. Any messages that will bring my Aries clarity and confirmation. Any messages that will empower them. Any messages that will help them align to their highest timeline to their best life to your will most high will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory forever and ever what do we have holy spirit here in the recent past for my aries gang gang yes ten of cups throwing out in the uh, in reverse right off rip five of cups three of cups we're gonna get into this because the five and the three of cups is the eight of cups so that's another message in and of itself lovers in reverse flying out here what do we have currently for my aries wow the two of cups in reverse coming out as well you guys for some of you you're dealing with some type of karmic lover that okay so let's let me finish grabbing these cards Maybe it's something you're holding on to because the two of cups in reverse flipped over and it stayed in the deck. What do we have incoming? Something that you're being guided to let go of. What do we have incoming spirit, please? Thank you. Wow, my Aries really getting that sh money right now. My Aries really getting that money. I see my Aries are really on their grind. Okay, thank you, spirit. I was just going to say thank you, spirit. What do we have as advice? Beautiful. Wow, Aries. Gang, gang. Wow, 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 this is crazy. So it, this definitely has something to do with healing. Aries, healing your heart space, healing your mind, body, and spirit. Spirit is really saying with this four of swords, family, not to overdo yourself right now, not to over worry, not to over stress, not to overwork. This is about making sure you are sticking with your meditation practice and dedicating time to yourself right now, making sure you're drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated, getting enough sleep, all of those little things that we sort of neglect when we're going through uh, these shakeups and these intense energies sometimes. Um, in the recent past though, Aries, we have the five of cups, the three of cups, the lovers in reverse. So just like I channeled in the beginning, for some of you, this is family. For some of you, this is friends or coworkers. For some of you, this is a lover or even a husband or wife or, or somebody that you are married to, um, maybe, or somebody that you have children with, right? I'm seeing there in this five of cups, this is in the recent past energy. So it looks like my Aries already sort of know this. It's like you're being intuitively guided to let something go or to move away from something. And it's got you a little bit bummed out for whatever reason. It's like we're crying over the spilled milk here. We're focused on these empty cups and this spilling cup. When in this, I love the depiction in this deck, the light seers tarot, because if she was just to change her focus just a little bit, she would see that there's this beautiful opportunity right here. And this is like this divine, uh, um, you know, opportunity that is meant for her with the five and the three of cups. This is the eight of cups together. And the eight of cups is all about leaving things behind. It's all about walking away. It's all about, and these situations are always situations that we've had a lot invested in, whether it's money and it's a job, whether it's time i mean money or it's a job whether it's time whether it is love right we had this is the eight of cups is rest representing this emotional energetic investment that we have into said situation and this is where we really leave that behind right we have the seven of cups which is all about decisions and choices and options then the eight of cups comes through and it's about going towards something new leaving you know the we'll say dead options away, the options that are no good for us, the choices that are not the best for our highest good. And then we have the nine of cups, which we actually do have right here in your theme of the reading. And I want you to see this Aries. We have the owl here, the messenger of death. We have bats, which are creatures of darkness. 
we have this crow or this raven, which is sort of seen as like a divine messenger. So again, I feel like this is something that you know intuitively or you're getting this divine guidance yourself, Aries, on what is what you should do in this situation, what decision you should make. And if you see the king of swords, he's looking toward the past. He's got his sword ready and he is going to cut anything out or off that is not for his highest good. He's going to make that decision. He's going to emotionally disconnect from the situation a bit and make the decision that he knows he needs to make, right? It's probably not the easiest decision to make, but the king of swords is coming through saying, let's get it, I got this. And if you see right behind him, if he was looking toward his future, he would see this wish fulfillment, this uh, manifestation, this abundance, this happiness right right here and it's just like in this five of cups where it's like this cup is right outside of her view this is representing this opportunity and for a lot of you aries this is a this is a soulmate that is like right here but we're focused right here and this is some type of karmic situation or for others if it's not a romantic lover here it's like you're focused on this family dynamic or this work dynamic that isn't serving you that that you're being guided away from when here's your soul family right here here is your happiness here's the people that love you right here and it sort of is where we get caught up a little bit focusing on the things that are really not good for us in your current energy where you're coming through as the high priestess the ace of wands the two of wands and the temperance and so this is just confirming the fact that you absolutely are being guided intuitively you're very plugged in you're probably very intuitive or even for some of you psychic uh in some cases and it's like you're being guided to to take this action to move into a new direction to head this way and i really feel like with the temperance and the two of wands a lot of my aries are sort of in this decision process where you're where you're sort of juggling the energy or you're just feeling these sort of more intense energies but you are sort of looking toward the future like you know what i could have this or i could have that or it could be better and i see you sort of right in the midst of turning away from whatever this past situation was with the temperance card coming out this is a card of patience it's about transmutation it's about turning these maybe negatives or something that's perceived to be a negative into a positive and really looking like what did i learn and what did i gain through this situation if every situation's happening for me and nothing's happening to me then can i see this in that light can i really take from this what I'm supposed to take on a soul level and focus on what it is I truly want and desire and can I take action toward that what action do I need to take ace of wands right two of wands this is getting that together it's like getting that idea and going for it you know acting on these intuitive downloads that you're getting in the incoming energy y'all like I said my Aries getting money you're coming through as the king of pentacles here you're sitting pretty you are grinding right it looks like money is not an issue for you but this is more so like an energetic rebirth or transformation like we said at the beginning of the reading this is a metamorphosis for you and i do feel like you are really leveling up in a deep way in a spiritual sense where this is you moving into this new spiritual quest and for a lot of my aries this feels like you're you're closing out a major karmic chapter. You're closing out a major chapter of your life. And it feels like you're sort of being guided into something brand new. I'm almost seeing this as being like dream bigger. Aries, like you can truly have whatever you want now. And what what is that? What does that soulmate look like for you? What does that soul family look like for you? What does it look like when you are in this new chapter and happy and healed, right? And this is really sort of saying right now, especially with this pig flying in the card, I'll just say this is like making the impossible happen or dreaming the what you may perceive to be impossible. And this is sort of the universe's way, the divine's way of coming through and saying this is absolutely possible. And here's your chance. I'm feeling that once in a blue moon energy, like let's go Aries in your advice knight or i'm sorry page of wands two of cups 
page of pentacles and the star you guys very clear message coming through and i told y'all the the two of cups flipped out upside down in the deck as we were shuffling and it didn't come out so it's almost like we weren't letting go of this two of cups in reverse this karmic situation this karmic relationship when it flew out it came out upright in your advice and with the two pages here the pages is a new adventure it's a new journey it's the start of something new right and with the star it's really like this is your chance right here to align to what's really meant for you aries to align to your soulmate or to your you know dream relationship whatever it may be to this manifestation to to something new and the pentacles this is something in in our physical world the the um wands here this is you know not only spiritual but this brings in passion this brings in joy and happiness and i just feel like there is for whoever i'm tapping into there's an opportunity for something big here for something beautiful for a sort of cleansing and to really bring your outer reality and internal reality into alignment we've got this connection card we've got mystery under that we've got influence under that and harmony under that your angels are guiding you into what's meant for you aries this is really big spirit is saying you're growing so much you're getting so much done you are truly being renewed here and the last message we're going to get from this before we jump into the oracle cards is retreat so pulling your energy back for some of you going into your hermit cave for a minute pulling yourself back together bottom of the deck we do have the four of swords right meditating resting healing and we really have the queen of cups under that so this is very deeply healing this message is speaking of your healing journey and pulling yourself together to be able to move into new love and like i always say this does not have to be romantic this is love of life passion for life and it is an opportunity to move away from whatever this energy was that there were there was betrayal or or toxicity or you feel like someone got down on you in some way or whatever it may be it resonates differently for everyone but you're really getting a chance to end out a major cycle and i do feel like this is something from the past or it's karmic in some way shape or form and i see for some of my areas you're really holding tight to that and i do feel like you're being guided to take this new opportunity emotionally disconnect a bit and take this clarity take this key to this door of your destiny and open that dang up family with we had the four of cups under that y'all don't let yourself get you know caught in a funk there is something out there for you a lot of times it's just up to us to loosen our grip a little bit and trust the divine trust god trust the universe whatever you call it right so we're gonna grab a couple oracle cards now and if anybody wants to take a deeper dive you can always reach out pop at me book a personal session um my information is right down below in the description box you can shoot me an email you can shoot me a message on social media i will get back to you as soon as i can spirit messages for my aries we have here be bold and make that first move don't let your past hold you back you guys south node here this is a past life thing for a lot of you for others it's just from the past during this lifetime and i'm actually being guided to read that what is this south node this came out for one of the other signs last week or just the other day the south node just like the north node is a karmic point but it's the opposite of the north node and relates to the past perhaps even past lives whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might literally literally alignment wish fulfillment here y'all this is big do you feel stuck in something 
That card will oft, this card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow, somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, you even, needs to be released and that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. The affirmation for this card says i released the past additional meanings a relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes that's what i was feeling intuitively especially with that reincarnation card your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive just because you can do something doesn't mean you should and we're going to grab a couple of these kali oracle cards as well for my aries please divine mother Okay, when momentum is building and you do not know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning or stubborn mindsets resistant to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and for healing practices. Four of Swords, right? Queen of Cups. Um, she will support the work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled and you shall emerge unharmed. This is another card about meditation here, Aries. Tune in to the spiritual power within you. It is beyond what society understands and can offer you. It will nourish, protect, inspire, and guide you through any troubles. If your path is diverging from your original plans or it's out of sync with those around you, trust in what is happening and know that you are within the divine's care. And... Holy Spirit, one last message for my Aries family. What do we have here in this Keepers of the Light Oracle deck? Karma releasing, you guys. I'm telling you, whoever I'm tapping into, this energy is very strong. It's a very clear message here. Move beyond drama. Create your own path and make room for this good energy. So, family, I hope this message resonates. I hope it helps in some capacity. That is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you run them likes up. Smash that thumbs up for me if this reading helped in some capacity or if it resonated. It is truly appreciated. Man, y'all don't even know. Um, welcome to all the new Aries subscribers. I hope this message finds everybody well and in great spirits. And be sure to click that bell uh, icon to all if you if and when you subscribe because we will be going live for the full moon eclipse to do our ceremony slash meditation slash reading or whatever we're sort of guided to do that will either be tomorrow night or uh between now and the sixth i suppose whenever spirit guides me to do it is when it will happen i will give a heads up on the community tab and on the social medias um so make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all of that good stuff, y'all. And before we tap out fully, we're going to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to clear this energy. We're going to breathe into our heart space. We're going to use our will and draw cosmic energy, prana, white or gold light into our heart space. We are going to pause, hold the breath at the top, watch ourselves glowing brighter and brighter. And as we release, we're going to exhale like we are filling up a balloon, watching any negativity, any anxiety, any doubt, any fear, any anger, any resentment, whatever it may be, any lower frequencies, we're going to picture it in the form of black smoke or static or gray or whatever comes naturally to you. And so the divine can help us transmute that family. So let's get this breath in, breathe down into your stomach, fill your body, lock that energy into your heart space. Hold it. Squeeze Mula Banda, raise that energy up. Watch yourself going brighter and brighter. And release. Aries, family, gang, gang, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all on the next reading. Woo!